Hello, hello. Welcome to Leap Taken. This is Mika. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft-related, law of attraction, manifesting esoteric, and everything else in between. And today, I am doing a spread in my grimoire, um, actually for August 1st. August 1st, some people call it Lunasa, some people say Lamas. If I'm not saying this the way you think it's supposed to be said, I'm sorry. Um, you know, that's how I say it, but you know, this, this is how I'm going to pronounce it because that's how I hear it, like sound out those letters in my head. So, you know, I know that people can pronounce things differently. If you don't think I'm saying it the right way, that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep saying it this way though, but thanks. Anyway, this is a time of harvest. This is a time it's like, um, you're bringing in the harvest or you're ca sort of cashing in harvesting, you know, if you understand what that means on, you know, all that has happened, your bounty. This is the time uh, where, you know, it, you, we were agricultural society. So things were, you know, done differently. You would have, um, you know, harvested your crops. You would be canning, storing, you know, getting ready for fall actually. Um, there was no time, you know, to kind of sit and rest on your laurels. Not really, maybe a little bit in the summer, but you know, there's always something to do in an agricultural society. We don't live, well, most of us don't live that way anymore. However, just because we don't live that way anymore, does it mean we still can't partake in the overall idea of what, um, you know, our elders and ancestors were living like we can still tap into that. By the way, if you're wondering where I'm getting these stickers from, it's from an older uh, book from the Happy Planner. So I just wanted to put that on the page um, and get that down uh, for, you know, my spread. But anyway, yeah, this is a time where you you re you reap, you know, you you harvest and, you know, what is it? All the work and all the stuff that you've been doing, at least this is how I celebrate, okay? I know there's some other um, things that are related to this uh, Sabbath, this holiday. But this is how I'm celebrating. <laughs> and I'm talking and doing this at the same time. It feels so weird for some reason today. You know, I'm so off today, guys. I had a migraine in the wee hours in the morning, woke me up out of my sleep migraine. I hate when that happens. So I did take something for it. So I felt just a little out of sorts, um, but not enough to keep me from wanting to do this video because I still wanted to do the video. I still wanted to get this and share this with you guys because this is kind of important to me. I think I, now, you know what? Now, nah, look at me. <laughs> I went in a little bit down here too, but anyway, it's sort of important to me um, to do this. This is something I knew I wanted to do today. And actually, I think it's going to help me release some of the tension with this headache, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but here we go. Yeah, so we got this down. So I just wanted to get sort of the decoration part down. So um, yeah, next I'll go ahead and just write out you know, the ritual, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, that's basically with this page. So just follow along as I do that. And bam, it's time for the letter. So also I got that from this book. It's an older book from the Happy Planner. Um, and I'm just going to spell it Lamas. That's what I'm going to do. Um, either of those people call it Lunasad or Lamas is either one. If you are interested in getting more into the pagan holidays and you know, you just, you want to celebrate more, you should go to, um, well, first off, there's a book, I'll link it in the description. Um, that's really great on understanding the, uh, Sabbaths and so forth for, uh, pagan holidays. But I also um, would suggest checking, checking out learnreligions.com. I think that's what it is. I'll link it. Um, I think Patty Wigginton is who writes for that. And let me tell you, that woman is a lifesaver. She really um, writes 
in a way where you really understand, you know, about the holiday, you understand, you know, the different pagan holidays, rituals. I go there myself sometimes when I'm kind of fresh out of ideas on how to celebrate. You know, I like to go to her, that site and take a look. I'm just going to spell out harvest. Anyway, I like to go to that site because it's like super helpful in practical, um, you know, approaches to celebrating these pagan holidays. Uh, because I didn't, you know, grow up in a household where we just did this sort of stuff. And, you know, this is, I'm re I'm creating the, a lot of the traditions that I have from scratch for myself. You know, it's, it's just me out here. Um, and you know, if my family wants to participate, but it's not like, um, you know, my people gave, you know, gave this to me or anything like that. Oop, that's crooked. Let me fix that. Um, so, you know, and I think a lot of us are in that position and it's, uh, you know, kind of sucks sometimes. <laughs> it would be nice if, you know, great, great grandma, you know, had a, <laughs> I'll be somebody's great grandma with this stuff, but you know, she had like a grandmar we would go to and, you know, we could, uh, look at that and, and know what to do and how to do it and all that sort of stuff. But unfortunately that is not the case. And, you know, I just got to learn to live with that. I got to understand that that's just, that's just not life. <laughs> so I have that here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put like a, a bucket list of things that I uh, want to do. So I'm going to spell that out in these gold letters from the same book. If it comes up, come on. But yeah, I feel so off today. So if I'm not sounding like my normal self, that's why <laughs> I um, still have a residual of that headache uh, that I got. I got it like at four o'clock in the morning. And yes, I woke up at four in the morning because the pain woke me up like that's serious. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And of course, me and my panicky self, I'm like, am I having an aneurysm? Is this what it's like? No one will know. <laughs> um, obviously not, because I, I survived. <laughs> and here I am making a video. Uh, but um, yeah, I do that. Listen, I feel like I, for the most part, have a handle on most things, <laughs> you know, magically speaking, spiritually speaking, and even to, you know, within... Um, the mundane world, uh, but I'm still very much human and I have very much human emotions. <laughs> so these are the things that I know I'm going to want to do to celebrate. And I'm just going to write those in here. So on this side of the page, it's a little crooked, <laughs> but that makes it homey, right? Stay tuned because I'm going to be updating my um, Cottage Witchery uh, Book of Shadows. I'll be showing you how I'm adding some pages in there soon. So stay tuned for those videos. Those are coming. Very excited to share that. Okay, I think, I think... <laughs> that I'm good. I'm just doing a quick flip through this other book to make sure there's nothing I don't want in there. It's nothing I want in there. Okay. So now I get down to writing. So let me get, you know, I grab my makeup bag. This is how out of sorts I am. Um, this is purpose. This is like how it's supposed to be staying like that. But anyway, my daughter got this little makeup bag for me. Is this not adorable? I meant to grab my pens. <laughs> Speaking of out of sorts, that would be this bag. <laughs> so anyway, whew, child, it's something going on with me. I'm thrown off, but even thrown off, I am still very much that witch. <laughs> All right, so what you're going to see now, I'm just going to go ahead and just start writing out basically the lore. What is this? What does this holiday represent? So that's what I'm going to write down here. Over here, I'm going to write down the various rich, you know, things I'm going to do. You'll see in a moment. I'm going to speed it up because um, I probably write slow and you don't need to see all that. So I'm going to speed this part up. <laughs>
Okay, so this is pretty much it. Um, I know down here I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna add a um, a little spell as well, just specifically about you know around this holiday. Um, so you know I'll just show that next. But overall, this is kind of what I wanted to do, just a little bit about the holiday on these pages. So yeah, the next thing you'll see is just where I sort of add a little spell right here. Okay, and there you have it. So this is my little spell. Hopefully you could see this. This is a spell to add confidence and to boost the outcome of a situation I've already manifested. So I'm using a penny, Han, Han John the Conqueror oil, oil, excuse me, yellow, orange, or red string, whatever I have on hand. I'm giving myself some options, a paper and pen. So basically what I'm going to do is I'll be wrapping, um, you know, I'll write a declarative statement. You know, I wouldn't say I want, I would say I am, you know, getting, I am doing this because I deserve it. Something along those lines. I'll wrap the penny because you know remember that there's a penny i'll wrap the penny in the paper so make it like a little parcel and then i'll tie that with the string and then um dribble you know just drizzle a little bit of the oil onto the little parcel that i've now created and then i'll have some sage but i didn't write down um i guess i should right so i can remember to do this Oop, wrong pen <laughs> sage there we go so I'll go ahead and write that, um, get that and I'll run the parcel through the sage smoke. OK, and uh, once I'm done, then I'll put it up to like, you know, hold it up to my my face a little bit and I'll just breathe. So this is where breath work is going to come into play. Um, I'll just breathe my desire. So basically on sort of <laughs> I want to say the tip of your tongue, like the tip of your mind, those desires, that declarative statement, like see it, see it in your mind's eye or imagine it as you're breathing it. And then like, I'm trying to describe how I do this, but basically I'm taking that imagery and now I'm using my mind's eye to dissolve it into air, into oxygen that comes out of my mouth and nose and into the parcel. So I'm giving it life, giving it my essence. Um, and yeah, now how you handle that little parcel at that point is up to you. Uh, you can take that and you can bury it. You can burn it. Remember, there's a penny in there, so be mindful of that. Um, you know, you can put it inside of a plant if you want to do that. Like if you have a plant already, that's, you know, one of those plants that kind of uh, stays alive and well <laughs> all through the seasons, like a house plant. Um, or just put it outside. It doesn't matter. The point is, you know, how you dispose of it. I'm not going to tell you that because that when you're doing magic, you have to keep things a mystery. You can't show everything. Um, that's why most spell books is like the bare bones information. It's up to you to put your signature on it. It's up to you to make kind of the, the spell work. Uh, they just gave you the foundation, the basis. But this is what I have uh, for my book. And I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I love the colors. Um, and if there, I have, I have room, you know, if I have to come back and put something in the margins or something like that, but yeah, this is just my little homie <laughs> grimoire update. Hopefully you like it. And, um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but thanks again for watching. Let me know if you celebrate any of these pagan holidays. <laughs> and if you are interested in celebrating, um, them look in the description for the links that I've provided as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and try to get myself together for the rest of this day. But thanks again for watching. My name is Mika. This is Leap Taken. Please like, subscribe, share. And as always, thank you for subscribing and you guys have a good day. Bye bye.